Hi, welcome back to Horn and Fin Outdoors. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I fish live eels to catch striped bass in the Northeast. Before we get there though, do me a favor as always, hit that subscribe button, help us grow and gain more followers, and also you'll get notified when I make more videos. There we go. Good old dragging a live eel around. Come here, boy. There he is. All right. All right. There we go. The first striper of the evening on my live eel, which is my favorite. If you watch me fish any other time you know that's my absolute favorite striper bait get this hook out of them yeah, hooks hooks in there good Come on. all right well here's my fish first fish of the night hopefully there's more to come Let's throw them back and get back to work. Live eels are one of my favorite ways to fish. Whether I'm casting them like a lure, drifting them with the current, or slowly trolling them like I'm doing right now. I have had so much more luck fishing for stripers with live eels than I have with any other thing I've I've tried it's they're stinky they're slimy they're hard to deal with but they work and it, you can't deny that so I'm gonna try and show you some of the easier easier tips that I've got over the years of fishing with these eels first of all the setup is fairly easy sometimes I'll just tie a circle hook directly to my braid Sometimes I will use a uh, monofilament leader and uh, a little swivel on the end to connect them. And that's all you need, just a hook and the line. I rarely use a weight while I'm fishing eels, especially if the eels are alive and they're really feisty because they will swim down to the bottom if you let them go. If the eel's dead and I'm gonna be trolling it, sometimes I will use a, an inline weight to get that eel down to the bottom where the fish are. Once you get your line set up, the next part is the hardest part. Get in the eel out of the uh, bait bucket and get them onto your line. First, a couple tips on keeping your eels alive. Number one, don't fill the bucket with water. If you fill the bucket with water, the eels will suffocate and die. So no water in the bucket. Take a damp cloth and put a damp cloth over top of the eels and put them in your refrigerator. They'll last for a while. Uh, what I usually do is once a day, if they're in my refrigerator, I'll take them out Fill the bucket with water and drain it a couple times just to get some of the slime out of there. Make sure that the cloth is damp and then put it back in the refrigerator again. When you get to where you're fishing and you're getting ready to hook the eel onto the line, it's best to have a dry rag with you. A dry rag is gonna make life so much easier when you're trying to grab that eel. What I try and do is I try and reach into the bait bucket and grab an eel by the head if you can. Once you get it by the head or, or its neck, squeeze as hard as you can, get them out of the bait bucket, and take your circle hook, put it, hook them underneath his bottom jaw and out one of his eyeballs. Then, once you've got him hooked and you're getting ready to let go of him, throw him right in the water as fast as you can. Once you get him in the water, they, they'll try and swim and they won't ball up. If you hold that eel up in the air, He's gonna ball up and twist up your line and it's just gonna be a mess and you're not gonna be able to fish with him. Now that you've got that eel in the water, you can fish him a couple different ways. First of all, I fished, when I first started fishing for, with eels, I would cast them uh, like a lure. So you cast them out, give the eel a chance to swim to the bottom and then slowly start reeling them in. And what I would do is I would slowly raise the rod tip and reel the line down. Slowly raise the rod tip, reel the line down. And as soon as I felt a fish hit, I dropped the rod tip and open up the bale and let that fish run for a count of three to four 
so that way he gets a chance to swallow that eel. Once he swallows that eel and he gets that hook in his mouth, then you just start reeling. Those circle hooks are designed to come up out of the fish's belly and hook one right in the corner of the mouth. They work pretty good, they're not 100% though. The second way I like to fish eels is just drifting. So I will cast the eel out, close the bale, and I prefer to use reels with either what they call, uh, um, Shimano calls it the bait runner, Penn calls it the live liner, that feature on the back of the reel that allows it to free spool. And you just drift with the current with them and when the fish takes it, same thing as when you're reeling. You let that fish pull the, dr the drag out for a little while, count to three or four, and then start reeling. And hopefully that circle hook comes right up and gets them in the corner of the mouth. The third way I like to fish my eels is trolling them, like I'm doing right now. So I will cast the eel out, put it in the rod, put the rod in the rod holder, open up the live liner or the bait runner, and I will slowly pedal my kayak. If I am going against the current, I try and be moving about a half a mile an hour to one mile an hour. And if I'm going with the current, I'm trying to move about one mile an hour faster than the current is carrying me. And same thing as, as when you're uh, drifting, once that fish takes it, you let it go for a count of three or four, close the bale and start reeling. Fishing with eels is really simple and I've always outfished any other lure I've ever used when I'm using eels. The couple tips I gave you about using the dry rag and getting eel in the water, that's gonna help you uh, have a lot more pre pleasurable time when you're getting everything set up. Once that eel's in the water though, be ready because the fish can't resist them. Hopefully you learned something from this little video and you're gonna give eels a try because trust me, there's no better striper bait in the world than a live eel. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. I'm gonna spend a day out here fishing. Hopefully I'll catch something. And I wish you guys nothing but tight lines and short blood trails. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, we got him on now, boy. We got him on now. Yeah. It was a fish.